Hey, what's up guys and gals? I'm back to tea. I'm getting ready to drop another video tonight. And uh, we're getting ready to do someone who is a favorite of mine and of yours. Of course, it's Bill Burr. And it's called Population Control. Not pop well, population control, population management, basically. That's that's basically what it's called. Population management. Because he has two videos out called Population Management, Population Control. This is Population Management. It's a young another video of another time that we'll do. So I don't want to get you confused on that. Um, but yeah, I like Bill Burr a lot. He's one of my favorite comedians, and I keep cranking out Bill Burr videos and George Carlin videos. So don't worry, we will do that. Please like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell on the bottom and you'll get more of George and Bill. But right now, we're going to do some Bill right now. And I'm going to enjoy this one myself. I haven't seen this one. And I will. I got the clip. And we'll go right at it right now. In five, four, three, two, one. Come on, Bill. Let's see what you got now. Make me laugh, bro. I'm I'm desperately waiting for a good laugh tonight. Woohoo! So here's something I saw the other day I've not seen in a long time. You know what I saw? I saw balls on a dog. <laughs> hey, remember that shit? Yeah. Dude, I have not seen that since like the late 90s. Yeah. I was literally sitting there looking like, I remember that shit. Dogs used to have balls. balls. I remember that. <laughs> remember that? You hit your friend, hey, look at his balls. You know, and everybody would laugh. Yeah. No, but somewhere along the line, yeah. It became socially acceptable to cut your dog's balls off, whether there's anything wrong with them or not, under the whole fear of like, well, if we don't do it, he's gonna fuck another dog. They're gonna make more dogs. And what are we gonna do with all these dogs? <laughs> We're not gonna have homes? Well, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I love that shit. What are we gonna do? It's like, dude, they're animals. Just let them go. They'll be fine. They got fangs, they got claws, they'll form packs, you know? They'll help with the obesity problem in this country, you know? You come stumbling out of a cheesecake factory just like a herd of fucking Rottweiler running at you. You gotta run to your SUV, dive in Dukes of Hazard style, right? No, I'm pro dog balls. I am. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Dog should be able to, you know, fuck who he wants to and... It's ridiculous. No, I want to get a dog. I want to get a dog. I've been dying to get a dog. And immediately, my girls immediately, well, we have to get it from getting a dog, we have to get him fixed. I'm like, why do we have to get him fixed? Well, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I don't, and I'm like, well, you're not a veterinarian. She's like, well, neither are you. Great, then it's a stalemate. Neither one of us knows what the fuck we're talking about. So let's not start cutting anything off the animal, right? So of course, she's a female. She's got to go out and prove me wrong. Goes out and gets a book. Okay, look at this. See, it says right here. Um, you get your dog fixed, he's less likely to be aggressive. Hmm? Okay? Okay? No. No, listen. God, you're such an asshole. Just listen. And then it said, he's less likely to rip up the furniture. Yeah? He's acting, you know? I was just like, sweetheart, when we were a kid, we had a family dog. All right? He had his balls. Okay? Yeah, sure. Occasionally, he humped your leg, yep. you know? But generally speaking, he just laid around, he begged for food, he came home, he was excited, but he wasn't wearing a raincoat, like, jerking off or something, you know? <laughs> he, lived, he lived for 15 years without incident with his balls, you know? No sexual harassment, nothing. No, I, I, think, I, think, it's, I think it's weird how, we're, like, human beings are trying to control the population of animals, you know? Like any time the deer population gets out of control, some dude will literally get on TV and be like, all right, the deer population is up to about 17, 1800. Realistically, we need to get that number down to about five, six of them, all right? <laughs> so starting them off, you got a gun, fucking shoot one in the face. <laughs> I'm just sitting at home like, what are the deer doing that's so bad for the environment, you know? They're gonna eat all the fucking grass. <laughs> Coming up to trees, just nibbling. <laughs> just nibbling. Nibbling. Dude, the deer didn't put a hole in the ozone layer, all right? That's not a bunch of dogs clogging up the freeways. It's us, right? We can fuck all we want. 
No one's gonna stop you. Could have, you could have 15 kids, have a 16th on the way. No one's gonna get on TV and be like, all right, Paul is still fucking. <laughs> Start him off, you got a gun, fucking shoot him in the face. Do what goody. you gotta do, this guy, he's out of control. No, it's great. It's great, man. You can just keep banging away. You can just keep banging away, making one useless, mediocre, not gonna invent shit kid after another. That's rough. <laughs> no, I don't understand people that like that. That is rough. Come on, Bill. Say, so, don't you realize after your third loser kid, you don't have the DNA to make somebody special? It's like, what are you doing? All you're doing, you're just making more in the way people just walking around, looking up at shit as you're trying to get down the sidewalk, you know? Oh, you know that dude, whenever you go into the deli, there's always that guy in front of you who doesn't know what he wants. Oh, what, kind of, what kind of bread is that? It's like, dude, stop making that fucking guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that dude, that dude is everywhere. No, that's why I love old people. I love old people. They always with their family photos. It cracks me up. They always like, well, they're all proud. Like, well, we had five kids, and then they all had five, and da-da, da-da. <laughs> it's like, yeah, none of you did shit. I don't recognize anybody in that photo. You just made 30 people who are all taking a shit every day that ends up in a river. That's not a family photo, that's an environmental disaster and you framed it. No, that's my solution for global warming. Everybody's talking about cars and oil, that doesn't matter, it's just too many people, you know, it's too many people doing it. So, so you know, you wanna help the environment, just stop fucking, right? I'm not saying stop fucking, but you know, pull out. You can still have your fun, right? Uh -huh. But you gotta stop looking at babies like they're these cute things, all right? They're not. They are, they are cute, but most of them are just gonna grow up, they're just gonna end up being another shithead in like an SUV that doesn't pull out far enough into the intersection, right? Now you gotta wait a whole nother light to make a left, and you're just sitting there losing your shit, screaming at your windshield with this dude who didn't need to exist. It's like, there's no reason for that guy. We got that guy. I don't know. That's my plan. They should just make babies illegal for like the next like 25, 30 years, wow. right? That'd be great. Think about it. Somebody's born, three people are born every second to one person dying, right? So if you're not making anybody, it's like, bam, somebody just died, right? Somebody just fell down some stairs. Somebody just tripped over a skateboard, right? And you know what? Fucking lanes just opening up on the highway, right? You know, you get to work a little sooner. You're in a better mood. Dude, you get it down to like 30,000 people. 30,000 people will be the shit. All right, Super Bowl comes around, everybody can go. Right? Everybody can go. 22 of you get to play. The odds of you making it in the NFL, it's ridiculous. Dude, even if you suck, you could still you could block on punts. You'd be like a wedge breaker, or maybe be that guy holding the first down mark, like, yeah, I'm fucking doing something. <laughs> you wouldn't have to recycle. Dude, if there was 30,000 people, man, yeah, everybody here, you could literally drive your own tank. You could drive a tank, you could throw toxic waste out the top. You could shoot a bald eagle right in the head. Nah, there's plenty of them. <laughs> plenty of them. Dude, they're shitting all over my tank. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Look, people, I don't read, okay? Seriously, none of my shit is researched, you know? But out of all the bullshit I'm talking up here, I think I'm onto something with this, you know? It's like I'm eliminating people, but like no one has to die. That's it, just stop making... Dude, we're gonna end up like China. They got like over a billion people, just, just jam-packed. Every day is like the subway, you just stand there, you can't even fall asleep. Like, oh shit, sorry about that. Yeah. Just jam-packed. You never think about that shit? Just standing there, we're gonna be sitting there. First of all, how easy is it to get away with the crime over in China, you know? First of all, you pick somebody's pocket, you don't even, you don't even have to run away. You just fucking weave your way back to the crowd. Just stand over here. <laughs> Guy standing there like, dude, somebody just took my wallet! Dude, he's right over there! He's right over, he's right there! Dude, he's got black hair, he's five foot five, he's dressed like he's in Reservoir Dogs. He's right over there! Oh,
Oh my god, no. No, that's where we're going to be headed. Oh, my neck. How many more strip malls can you make? <laughs> Places to get donuts and people to get their nails done. Everybody's all excited. This area is really, really exploding. It's really exploding. It's like, no, dude, people are fucking, and then they're just building more shit. Oh, Bill, come on. Poor Bill. He just, he just didn't know. Poor Bill. That was Bill Burr, everybody. Oh my God! Sorry for leaning on the chair. That China, it, it really got to me. It, it hit me hard. I had to put a creak in my neck. Oh my neck hurts. Oh, from that joke. Oh, you know, sometimes when you laugh real hard, you get a little creaky in your neck, and I put a little creak in my neck. You know, we old dudes can't really sit around here and do all that stuff. Like, oh God! Oh my neck! Oh, Jesus! I need my my motion. Oh, uh, uh. So yeah, I hurt my neck. So, uh, how did you like it? Uh, did you like some Bill Burr? And uh, leave some uh, comments below and let me know what else you want to see. Uh, we're going to do some more cartoon reactions as well. So, uh, thank you so much for coming. I hope you're enjoying your New Year's Day. Um, and I hope you have fun and eat some leftovers from New Year's Eve. Uh, please come to our social media platforms in the descriptions and also here. Right here for um, Patreon and our YouTube channel. Well, you already on our YouTube channel, but I mean our podcast on Google Play, Apple, and all that other stuff. So above here will be our archive videos to continue to watch our videos on our channel. So thanks once again, guys, for listening and watching to the show. I love you guys so much. You make my day. Have a great night, guys, and I will see you here the rest of the week and the rest of the weekend. Peace.